Okay. Good evening. How is everyone? Good evening. How was your day, Aida? Uh, my day was okay, normally, and for my case. Not busy? No. No, it's, um, yeah, relax. Okay, good, good. And you, Diego, how was your day? I was good. I was working in all day. Diego, do you work from home or do you go to the office? No, I work in, I am a carpenter. That's right, for, for uh, uh, but not for Uber, right? No, no. For the company? No, it's, uh, it's in my business with my friend, Carpenter. Ah, Carpenter, Carpenter. Yes. Okay. Yes, I make a furniture with uh, melamina. I don't know say melamina in English. Mm. I don't think it's plywood. Um, hmm. But it's like, like wood. Yes. But melamina is different, yes. Uh-huh. It's a different type of wood, right? Yes, yes. But I, I make uh, furniture like closet, a trees, a desk. Okay. And more. This is the one that is like normally like white, like a plastic or no? No, it's it's wood. It's wood. It's wood. Okay. Yes, but it's different because the melamina is is. It's not rustic wood, it's different. It's maybe, I don't know, say triturar madera. Oh, wood. like plywood. Yes. Like ply, ah, yes, yes. I, I know which one, yes, okay. And how long, how long have you been making furniture? Mm, it depends. For example, today start with uh, make a closet, but uh, uh, I finished for I finished work uh, eight o'clock and and the in percent the make a closet maybe have uh, six uh, seventeen percent maybe. Okay, okay. But for you, when did you start working in carpenter? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, maybe last last year. I have a um, one, year, one year ago. Oh, in the quarantine. You learn in the quarantine. Yes. Okay. Interesting. This is the idea for today. So, you see, I don't say my partner only, ah, how was your day? My partner, good. I work. No. I ask questions. I investigate. I have to ask many things. Oh, what do you make? What do you do? Is normal? Is not normal? How long? How much? What? No, only that. Ah, are you okay? Yes. Ah, okay, good partner. No. Ask WH questions. What? Where? How? How much? How long? How many? You see, I ask my partner Diego many questions. Then Diego finish, and then Diego ask me about my day, and I answer Diego. Okay. So for this, we are going to go to the group and we are going to practice speaking about the day and asking the questions. It's okay? It's okay. It's okay, okay teacher. Excellent. Let's go with our partners and quickly we talk with our partners about today. Okay.
Good morning, teacher. Hello, hello. I send you to the groups. Alejandra, Jose, let's try the group. Okay. Hello, Anna. Okay, great. Any questions? Everything's okay? I have a question, but it's, it's uh, outside the, the topic, right? It's okay. uh, for example, uh, when you... Uh, how, how, but, uh, the question is, how can I say um, uh, my pleasure, but in past, uh, was a pleasure? Is correct to say that? Yes, or, it's okay. It, it's okay to say it, it was a pleasure. No problem. This is a past form. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yes. Okay, great. Now that we warm up, now that we think a little bit about our activities, we're going to look at and make questions with present perfect. We are going to try with our partners, okay? With our partners, we're going to make questions with have. Have are the words in the past participle, okay? So remember, have is for experiences. For example, have you ever eaten snails? Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? What is the difference? The difference is that have you ever is any time in your life. So how do we have? We use have plus subject, okay? Plus the word ever, if you want, is no obligation, but is very common, okay? And then of course, the verb in the past participle. So as a question, I can say, ah, have you ever gone to, um, I don't know, La Union. Let's try with La Union. Have you ever gone to La Union? Or, okay, have you, sorry, the first one was have you, or have you ever gone to La Union? And the two, the same meaning. Only ever is only for emphasis. Okay, do you see the questions in the chat? Have you ever? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I see. Inga. Let me put the person, okay. I mean, <laughs> somebody's having problems. I think the person there. Okay, so sorry about that, guys. It seems we have somebody that's having some problems. If anybody's on the cell phone, can you put the link into the WhatsApp group? Because I don't know who, but uh, the person. Teacher, I, I think it's Miriam Cabezas. Ah, Miriam, okay. Yes, but I I, I think is the other called the, the past small. Yes, yes. I, 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 I explained to her porque en, el, en la foto de ella, así aparece, dice pre-intermedio, no dice intermedio, está entrando a la reunión del mes pasado. Yes. <laughs> yes, I think so. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you so much, Karen. Thank you. Okay. So, as you can see in the chat, we have the questions with half, right? So, the same for the answers. Ah, I see Stephanie put, yes. I have gone to La Union. So, correct. Normally, we put the answer, yes, right? Yes, I have, as an example. Yes, I have. And then the second sentence, okay, we put in the past tense. I went to, for example, I went to La Union last year. Okay, this is an example. Miriam. You okay? That, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay, Miriam. I'm so tired. It's okay. Lo it's siento, okay. me equivoqué. No, no, no te preocupes. Y Cabal dijo, Cabal, aquí habían avisado. Hey, yo creo que es en la de la anterior que se está metiendo. <laughs> Lo siento. Gracias. Este, yeah, no problem. Hey, 
todos tenemos días que igual, más funny. Es, salimos cansados. It's okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. So now we're going to practice with our partner making questions in the present perfect. Remember the answers we can have. For example, the answer is yes or the answer no. If the answer no, it's like Cesar. No, I haven't. If the answer is yes, it's like Stephanie. Yes. And then I have gone to La Unión. Yes, I have gone to La Unión porque no hay tiempo. Pero si hay un tiempo, yes. I went to La Unión last week. I went to La Unión two years ago. No, 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 Alma. Because no, I have, I went. Only one. Yes, I have gone. No past tense. is have in verb and past participle. I put one more time. The grammar rule, I copy and paste. So that you remember is, oop, sorry, is have. I don't know why I didn't copy have, but let me copy one more. Is have. Let me put one more time there. Okay. Yes, I have. And then remember is going to be for the verb in the past participle. So in this moment, we're going to practice. We're going to make the questions with our partner, different questions. Have you ever gone to La Union? Have you tried a, a cow brains? Have you eaten tongue from the, uh, the Mexican restaurants? Or have you, you know, and different questions. Not only have you, it's okay. Okay, when, where, what, but is normal in this moment, we practice have. So to be sure, first put one question in the chat, one question in the chat with have, so that I can check to make sure it's correct. Put one question with have. Correct, Jose. Have you played soccer? Correct, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. Have you ever ridden a horse? Remember, the ever, if you want, you put. If you don't want, it's not necessary. It's the same question. Everyone, 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 put in the chat. Put one, one question in the chat. One question in the chat. Have you been in a concert? Okay, good medium. Have you been in a concert? Have you visited Boqueron? Correct, Miguel. Have you visited Boqueron? Good, good. Mm -hmm. Alma, no. Remember, question. No, I have. Only the have you. Have you ever lost your keys? Yes, but no, I. Have you ever driven a bus? Good, Aida. Correct, Stephanie. Uh, Ana Lisette, not correct. Oh, remember the verb past participle. So Ana Lisette, have you danced at a party with D? Have you danced at a party? Yancy, correct. Have you ever gone to Tamanique Waterfall? Have you climbed in Salco? Good, Cesar. Good, Diego, correct. The camp in the mountains, have you ever? Okay, Alman, yes, have you ever lost? Your keys, good. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to practice with our partners asking and answering the questions, okay? So I asked my partner and we practice making the answer. Remember the answer is the same. Yes, I have, no, I haven't. And then the past tense with specific information. Good, Miguel, only have you tasted chocolate cake? Miguel, have you tasted chocolate cake? There's uh, chocolate, the cake is, is, in the, is the end. So, uh -huh. have you tasted chocolate cake? Correct. Not cake of chocolate. Okay. No cake of chocolate. Uh -huh. Have you okay. tasted chocolate cake? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, let's make our groups. One moment. Okay, go with your partners and practice asking and answering the questions. Yancy, you okay? Yancy? Teacher, no me pude meter en el grupo. Ya, ya te voy a mandar otra vez, no hay problema, Yancy. Ok, gracias. Uh -huh. José. We are making questions with present perfect in the groups.
Okay, it's, it's okay, it's better how to make the questions? It's okay. Okay, good, good, this is the it's, idea. It's Excellent. okay for me, but uh, uh, I have a little problem with the uh, bears in, in, it pass, I, cannot look the, I don't remember, pass. Participle. Participle, yes. <laughs> Oh, yes. The the good is in the verbs in the past participle is only is necessary. Um, it's really necessary to study and to learn because if not, it's going to be very difficult. There is no is not like ah, no, I not not is a rule. No, it's uh, necessary memorizar really. Yeah, really. Yeah, really. You have to because they're especially the irregular verbs. The regular verbs, no problem. The regular verbs, ed, and that's it. But the irregular, oh, okay. oof, you have to know because it's different than the past. It's different than the past participle. And so each each form is different. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, good. So now we're going to go to 4.3. We're going to go with our 4.3, the lesson objective, okay? And who would like to read the lesson objective? Me. Okay, please. Alejandra? Mm -hmm. Sequence adverbs are used to help describe a progression of events, often used in receipt or instruction. Sequence adverbs such as first. Alejandra. Se me desactiva. Voy a volver a empezar. Second okay. adverbs are used to help describe a progression of events. Often used a receipt in receipt or instructions. Sequence adverbs such as fears. Then next, after that, and finally, contain information about the order of action and create natural transitions in writing. In this lesson from English teacher Joy Sainz, practice describing receipts in English using sequence adverbs. This lesson includes an English oral comprehension exercise. Okay, thank you very much. Only one word and the word is recipes, recipes, okay? Good job. So what are we gonna do? We're going to learn these words. The word first, okay? And the word finally, you cannot change. First is at the beginning. Finally is at the end. It's not possible to change the position, but the words 
Then next, after that, yes, it's possible to change. When we talk about recipes or instructions, is normally the idea for food. So in this moment, we're going to watch a small video and then we're going to learn how to use these adverbs, okay? And mash it. Hello everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to describe how to prepare food using sequence adverbs. For example, you'll be able to take a recipe written on a piece of paper and be able to explain it. In order to illustrate this idea, let me play an audio program so that you can see how this topic is used. This is really easy. First, you put a little oil in a pan, then heat the oil. Next, put in the kernels and cover the pan. When the kernels start to pop, shake the pan gently every few seconds. In about a minute, the popping will slowly stop. After that, turn off the heat and pour it into a bowl. Finally, put a little salt on it and enjoy. Okay, which food are they describing? Which one are they talking about? Popcorn. Excellent, Stephanie. That's right, popcorn. They are describing the steps for the popcorn. First, at the beginning, finally at the end, and the others, they change. Now listen, what is number two? Which food is number two? I love this snack. First, take an avocado and mash it. Next, you chop half a tomato and half an onion and add them to the avocado. After that, you chop a little cilantro and add that in. Then, put in some lemon or lime juice. Finally, add a little salt, pepper, and of course, hot sauce. Mmm, it's great with chips. What was number two? Uh, guacamole. 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 Excellent, excellent, guacamole dip. And what is number three? What do you think is going to be number three? The pizza or the bagel? Uh, slice of pizza. Okay, let's listen and check. A friend from New York City taught me how to make this. First, cut it in half, then toast it. After that, let it cool a little and then spread cream cheese on it. It's really good for breakfast, but you can eat it anytime. Ah, so what was number four? <laughs> <Me cookie. laughs> it's toasted. Toasted. Uh -huh. bagel. toasted bagel. That's right. Bagel. Toasted bagel. Good. Now, if now you let me get started the conversation by explaining. We use the words first, then next, after that, and finally. But first is at the beginning finally is at the end and the others we can change the others wait here this we cannot change and finally we cannot change the other words is no problem we can have interchangeable i'm looking for the right word ah, here so first always comes at the beginning finally always comes at the end and the others no problem you can put in different order. What is the meaning of then? Is the same, next is the same after that. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. is, this, is the same, really the same? Yes, the same, because they are first the sequence. Oh, okay. For example, one, two, three, and only then, next, and after that is the same. Thank you. You're welcome. It's okay the next words or it's okay all of these words? Mm. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. So what are we going to do? Now with our partners, we're going to describe a recipe, okay? First, as an example, okay? First, you take the rice and you put water in it to clean it. Then you take a little bit of butter and put it in the pot. Next, you chop some onions and put in the butter. Then you add the rice and mix it. 
After that, you put in carrots and tomatoes, shredded and mix with the rice. Then you add water and cover for 30 minutes and add a little bit of salt. And that's it. Finally, you eat. Finally, you enjoy it. Now you are going to prepare and think and then present to the class how to create, how to make a recipe, okay? Some of the words that you use, very common in recipe, okay? For example, dough or flour, okay? And the word mix, these are very common. Mm -hmm. The dough, maybe for pizza, for bread, for pupusas, this is the dough. The flour, no water. You take the flour, put the water and make into a dough. Then you mix, okay? Do you need any vocabulary? Do you need any words before we begin with our partners to practice? What do you say? Uh, yes, teacher. You like to say measures or the is correct? Okay, measure. Ah, very good, very common. We also have, for example, is very common in the recipe, tablespoon, right? Tablespoon. The tablespoon is the big one and the teaspoon is the small one. Tablespoon big, teaspoon small. And you measure, for example, you measure one pound, five grams, depend, but one is cup. measure. One cup. One cup, exactly, measure one cup. Any other vocabulary? No? How do you say hornear? Ah, excellent question, Miguel. Hornear is bake. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Teacher, uh, okay. pe pelar is peel. Good. Peel. Pronunciation. Oh, okay, okay. Peel. P, uh huh, W E L. Correct. Okay, peel. okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go in our groups and prepare and explain one recipe, how to prepare one food with our partner. If you need to, it's no problem. If you need to, only you investigate in Google, look for the word, ask the partner, and think of the new vocabularies. Okay, you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay.
Okay, are we ready? Are uh, you ready? Okay, let's try it. Alma. I mean, uh, it's the limonada. I, me. How do I make limonada? How do I make? Uh, how do I make lemonade? Uh, how do I make lemonade? It freaks. I slick the lemon. Is then is then I miss the water with sugar. Lo voy a escribir en el chat. No, 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 Lemonade. How do I make lemonade? Go ahead, I, mm -hmm. I slip the lemons in this the water with sugar. Uh huh. Um, with, with salt is the lemon. With water, con, con, con sal también. Yes, I understand. Ya lo dijiste. Relax, Alma. You can do it. You can do it, Alma. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Sorry for me. No, no, sorry. Why sorry? It's, we come to class to practice. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Alma. Good job, Alma. Good job. Excellent. All right. Who is next? Who's next? Me, 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 teacher. Me, okay, me. Miriam, go, Miriam. <laughs> okay, my recipe is a uh, recipe is to, uh, potato chips. Very easy. Okay. Okay. The first, peel the potatoes, then put them to boil. Uh, after that, drain them. Drain, drain them. O oh, no sé, drain o drain them. No, 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 drain, drain. Oh, ah, drain Correct, them. Miriam, drain. Yes, continue, continue, Miriam. Drain them, then in a saucepan, saucepan, cacerola, saucepan. Okay. It's okay. Put oil with a little salt and put the potato to fry. Finally, uh, they are served with ketchup. <laughs> Okay, very good, Miriam. Excellent, excellent, delicious. All right, who is next? Who is next? Me, teacher. Okay. Uh, mariscada. Uh, mariscada is seafood soup. Seafood, seafood soup. Seafood soup. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, first fry. Uh, which all uh, we fry lobster, shrimp, tomato, uh, onions, uh, shrimp, uh, dance, water. Uh, finally, consomme. <laughs> I don't know. Consomme. 
It's okay. Spices. Spices. Eh, mariscos. Okay. Seafood. Seafood. Mm -hmm. um, crema. Cream. Creams. Eh, finalis. Read it. R read it? No. Finally. Final. Lista. Is ready. Is ready. Ready. Uh -huh. ready. There you He's go. Ready. Finally, it's ready. Okay. Ah, Yancy. Let's go to Yancy's house. Listen, the, the lobster, the shrimp. The, mm. <laughs> Excellent, Yancy. Thank you very much. Good. Okay. Okay. Cesar, you ready? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Okay. Oh, tell, us, tell us. Tell us the rest. Turn, turn on my camera. Okay. Um, is is about pressed coffee? Is it right? Yeah, okay. in a French press. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you put uh, boiled the water. So uh, after that, you take the measure uh, or calculate the measure of the coffee and the water for a cup. Yeah. And after that, you put the the water in the in the press. Uh, so. Uh, after that, uh, you apply the coffee, a little bit of water first, and and then you apply more water. So you you say mix mix with a, a spoon, right? And and after that, you gonna um, with I don't know press press with with the the how do you say envelope? I don't know. That that, that yes, that's correct. You only you press. Only oh, okay. Down, uh, after that, you press. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, uh, you press and lo, lo deja reposar. What do you say that? You let it stand. You let it stand. Okay. Uh, after that, uh, you let it stand for for four minutes, and after that, you put in a in a cup, and you can enjoy it. Okay. Nice. Nice. Good, the French press, very good. Okay, okay. Anybody else? Who's next? Who's next? Anna Lisette. Okay, Anna. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, is Stroet chicken? Pollo guisado, no sé si es correcto decirlo así. El, ¿Qué tipo de pollo? Spread guisado. Ah, la pronunciación. Es, so, sí, sí, ya uh -huh. entendí. La pronunciación es stewed, stewed chicken. Stewed. Sí, como, como lo pronunciaste, es como se escribe, pero se pronuncia stewed, stewed chicken. Stewed chicken, stewed uh -huh. chicken. Ok, stewed chicken. Uh, first, uh, I wash the chicken and season in, uh, no sé cómo se dice, condimentos, so, seasoning. Seasons? Ah, uh, season. Okay. First season the chicken. Um, I put casserola with oil and casserole? garlic. Okay. Garlic and onion. And then add the chicken um, and leave it cold. Es como lo dejo freír, no sé cómo. Okay, fry. Freír is fry. Ajá. Uh -huh. For Two minutes. Um, uh, next, um, put sauce tomatoes with parsley or cilantro. No sé. mm -hmm. Correct. Finally, I let it. Uh, 
I let for it boil for 20 minutes. And finish? See, sí, finish. Hey, excellent, excellent. All right. Okay. Good job. Thank you so much. Jose, you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, Jose, give us the recipe. Uh, well, my recipe uh, was uh, tau for me Yancy because I I can cook. <laughs> ah, Yancy. Uh, ah, okay. Well, uh, she she told me how to make fish. Uh, first, she told me we have to clean the fish. Uh, all the way, uh, the scales, scammers. Correct, scales, correct. And after that, you have to uh, put oil, then onion, uh, let me see, salt, and fry in uh, boil, casserole. Oh, in a bowl or a casserole? Casserola, casserole, casserole, or pot. Mm -hmm. Okay, casserole uh, with uh, uh, all the ingredients and finish, enjoy it. Okay, all right, very nice. Good job, guys. So you see, always you can begin with first, you finish with finally, and the others you change, then, after that, next, this is interchangeably. It's okay? It's okay. okay, teacher. Okay, good. Tomorrow we are going to continue. Tomorrow we finish unit four and begin unit five. So prepare tomorrow, finish unit four and begin unit five. It's fast. Okay, teacher. Okay? All right. All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for coming and have a good night. Have a good, good night. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye.